Hey guys, it's Ian here, Fantastic Dimensions. Another GM Insight video for you. Uh, just reflecting on my session, my campaign session last night. And I had a little bit of a campaign tip for you, if you're interested. I call it, the show must go on. I was a bit disappointed yesterday, as I has been the case in a few sessions now, that, uh, well, nearly half of my players were unable to, to make last night's gaming session this happens you know it's life people have jobs people have families you know things get busy and the temptation was there to just cancel the session but then again having said that half of my players had shown up for the session and were really excited to play I was really excited to play I had some good ideas the campaign's been getting on a bit and I'm thinking you know it's getting time to kind of wrap it up so I didn't want to cancel the session so the show must go on. I, instead of focusing on oh, what am I going to do without this character or without that character, I said, you know what, forget it. I've got four really good characters right here in front of me. And we're going to go with the uh, story from there. And we're just going to focus on these four characters and, and forget about, you know, those who unfortunately couldn't make it. I didn't change my story. I didn't change events. What I did is I changed the circumstances a little bit just to kind of justify the absence of the characters who couldn't be there. Eh, you could argue that maybe it's kind of weird that it doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't know. Either way, I did it for the sake of the game, to keep the game going. And uh, I think it was the right decision. Uh, we had an excellent session. The players who, who were there had a blast. Uh, a lot of very uh, interesting things happened. There were more further developments. And we're easing towards the end of this campaign. There's about four sessions left. Um, I reckon, uh, and then it'll be over. So that's my tip to you. Be prepared to keep playing despite whatever adversity that you may come across. If a player can't make a session or if multiple players can't make a session, try to leave your sessions off in ways that you can justify uh, the absence of characters come the next session and also try to leave your session off in a way that you could also justify the reappearance of any of those characters in the next session. I think I've done that successfully. I'll be uh, episode 15 in two weeks time. I think I will be able to reintroduce any of the three missing characters, um, you know, should they make it for the next session. And at the same time, um, yeah, I should be able to also, there's going to be a bit of a time lapse, not a major time lapse, but there will be a little enough of a time lapse so that I think I can justify any other characters disappearing or whatever um, another option of course besides just the disappearing player character um, I guess you could always NPC a player character I don't like to do that I prefer to leave the players characters to them and not go messing about with them as the GM um, but that's my own personal taste you can do whatever works for you but ultimately I just say keep your game moving don't cancel a session just because you know a couple players couldn't make it sure okay you know if if, like I have seven players, and if, you know, five or six of them couldn't make it, of course, I would have had to probably called off the session and maybe we played something else. But ultimately, if you're only missing, you know, half or less of your players, try to try to continue your game. Keep it going for those who do make the effort to, to be there. And I'm not saying that those who were absent didn't make any effort. I'm simply saying you need to reward the people who are there. Okay. That's it for this GM Insight for the moment. I have another one of these coming up shortly. Loud truck driver, I don't know. I have another one of these coming up shortly, um, and it's going to be called, uh, well, I haven't given a title yet, but basically it'll be kind of related to this ongoing campaign that I've been playing. So, in the meantime, this is Ian from Fantastic Dimensions. Keep an eye out for more GM Insights, and I'll see you at the gaming table.